Good evening and welcome to Jobek TV. I'm Tewa Jomate with your news updates. DA unveiled progress of party's 2019 election campaign and Cape Town residents living in fear after a community leader was stabbed. The Democratic Alliance has disclosed its action plan towards its election campaign for the upcoming 2019 general elections. And our reporter, Crown Sondani, filed this report. Today, Jobek TV News is at Bruma, where the national spokesperson, Soli Malazi, and the DA campaign manager, Jonathan, briefed the media on plans for the next coming weeks. The DA is firmly on track to achieve our objective of retaining the Western Cape, of bringing the ANC below 50% in Gauteng and the Northern Cape, and growing across the length and breadth of the country. From Makanda in the Eastern Cape to Musina in Limpopo, it is clear that South Africans do not want to waste more time nor opportunity. This is the time for change, and in four weeks' time, millions of South Africans will use their power to put an end to 25 years of wasted opportunities in government. The failing ANC is well aware of the precarious electoral situation that they face. The ANC's campaign head and his army of Bell Bottinger like bots on social media. Just this week, the ANC and ANC Youth League members stormed Gangster State book launch, which some of you were at, and destroyed copies of the book, which details Ace Mahashule's reign of corruption in the Free State. And last week, you once saw again how the ANC's Deputy Secretary General, Jesse Tuate, um, verbally abused journalists on two separate occasions. It is clear to us that Cyril Ramaphosa is clearly not in control of his party, which is now beyond repair. He operates in a bubble of delusion, clearly fe fearful of taking any action against his main boss, Ace Mahashule. The DA said it's planning to take the ANC below 50% during this year's elections. Commenting on the ongoing strike that's happening at Alexandra, Soli Malati said that the DA took over Houting over two years and they had to start by dealing with the mess that the ANC has left. With only 26 days to go until the elections, the DA says unlike the ANC that uses violence and intimidation to win votes, it is planning to fight corruption and fight unemployment. Capacity to be active and present through extended periods of time and across a range of different communities throughout our country. The DA-inspired um, wave of change has garnered a forceful momentum which spans from Ponderland in the heart of the rural Eastern Cape to the streets of Limpopo, where we have never had a footprint before. We have also interacted with and registered more young people than any other political party, and we continue to engage with the youth of South Africa by innovative means, both digitally and across an array of online platforms. As a party, the DA is growing and we are strong. We have six television adverts, four of which have already been flighted, and over 200 radio adverts in all 11 official languages, all of which are currently airing. Our poster operation is the largest one in the history of our party, with over 1.5 million posters being flighted for the election, and we have hundreds of other placements in the form of billboards and pamphlets, taxi wraps and leaflets. The DA is here to win. Um, and I think this election for South Africans is not about wasting any more time and about choosing a government that can deliver uh, and put the people of South Africa first. I think the ANC does not have a campaign other than violence and intimidation and it's quite clear if you look at what has happened in Alex, particularly by who the protests have been instigated by, that it is being led and fostered and sponsored by the ANC and have a look at the uh, Twitter activity um, of Fakile and Balula um, and his Bell Pottinger inspired bots um, and you'll see quite clearly that that is the ANC campaign of violence versus a DA campaign of hope, change and clear credible offer for the people of South Africa. People of Alexandra have now been felt by the ANC for the past 25 years, said Soli Malazi. From Jobek TV, Crown Sondland. Residents of Clip Town in Soweto say that they fear for their lives after a community leader was stabbed and his house and car were set alight. Eric Matoloana was attacked last week, allegedly by his neighbor, as residents celebrated a year of no disruptions in the area. It's been a year since violence erupted in the area after residents complained about the selling of RDP houses. Greater Clip Town Leadership Forum Secretary VC Lembele said that the attack has left the residents with a lot of questions. And now to your traffic and weather updates.
Thank you, Tibato. And for your traffic update in Kempton Park on the R24, there are roadworks after the R21 airport interchange. Expect slow moving traffic that side. And in Midrand on the N1, there's a crash before New Road. Expect queuing traffic when driving that side. For your weather update, Pretoria is at 24 degrees Celsius, Santin is at 22 degrees Celsius, Johannesburg is at 22 degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. That's it from me, back to the news desk. And that is it from me and the rest of the Jovic TV news team. Goodbye.